My son went to a school system that was city-based and we lived in the county and it was kind of too far to go back home between events so I would take him to school and then I would pick him up afterwards and we would kill a couple of hours for our next event but we had to go drive home. So we would spend our time at baseball card shops. He decided to collect some Michael Jordan. Was there a limit? Was there an amount he couldn't spend? Well, we, we tried not to make it over $20. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a trip. Okay. It was just our fun time together. It was something to do. Michael Jordan's rookie cards is what you've got here. Uh, two of them, the first two, and then the third one here is the, the next year's card, 1987. Jordan was a rookie in 84, but, but we deem the 86 Fleer cards his rookie cards because the first set, the first printed iteration of his rookie card, the star set, wasn't licensed. When Fleer obtained the license mm -hmm. in 1986, it became his official, formal rookie card. And there yeah. are collectors, don't get me wrong, that'll collect the other ones, the unlicensed 84 version, mm -hmm. but it's not that. And so what we see in the sticker there, it says rookie, that's, that's the card that uh, a lot of card collectors are watching you right now with envy. That's the one a lot of, a lot oh. of card collectors want. Wow. Okay. The one uh, next to that is a sticker. That's not a card, it's a sticker. I, know, I didn't know that. It came with the set. So I, I know where this set came from. It came from that 86 Fleer set. You have them together, which is nice. Now, most collectors, and certainly the savvy ones, aren't gonna peel that. They're gonna leave it right there. The third one is the next year. It's another important card with the gray border up top. It's a pretty popular card for card collectors. Cards have to be graded. They have to be ascribed to grade, and there's a scale, right? There's mint 10 or gem mint 10, and all the way down to, to, to nothing, to one, and to poor, and things like that. We can't grade your cards here, but we can estimate based on our experience what we see and some of the discussions I've had with colleagues on w what we're looking at. Okay. When you're looking at cards for condition, you're looking at everything from is it centered? Is there more border on one side, one side than the other? Is there a crease? Is there foxing or toning, whatever it might be? Mm -hmm. Yours aren't in poor condition by any stretch, but I'd be remiss to say that they're perfect, they're not. Okay. Uh, so with that in mind, right, we're estimating that, that these are, let's call them average, for lack of better description. Okay. Not as low as a five grade, maybe as high as an eight or seven. I think part of what you've, you're gonna wanna do down the road is getting them formally graded. Okay. Okay, that aside, I have an idea of what they're worth. I have that idea because these keep selling. The two closest to me, the 86 sticker and the 87 card, together, I think you'd be really safe to insure them, the pair, for 10 to 15,000, okay? The, t okay? the two closest to you? The two closest to me. Wow. Now, the other one, the prices are starting to normalize. The values are starting to come down, still. I think, and we're talking insurance value, you can probably insure that one safely for 20 to 30,000. Wow, I had no idea. Okay. Wow, so that was some pretty good hanging out time we did. Yeah, the tw that $20 well, investment and hanging mm -hmm. out time, it paid off. I was thinking, honestly, maybe a 1000 for the three. 